Okay, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about duplicates. Now, duplicates are a huge problem that we need to make sure we solve and we fix in our data sets. Because if we leave duplicates in place and we just ignore them, we don't even realize they're there, then they can cause double counting. You know, for example, we count the same uh, invoice twice in our revenue calculation. So deduplicating and removing those duplicates is a really important step. So what we can do is there's a few strategies we can just, as I said, we can ignore them, but that's not very sensible. We can just find them, first of all, which is what I would advocate doing is find them, highlight them, and try and understand why they're there. Maybe there's a, a data entry point somewhere in your system that's that's causing those duplicates. And then finally, we'll actually go ahead and, and want to get rid of them. So here we are in uh, Google Sheets with a small data table, and there are some duplicates in here. Okay, so in this little data set, let's talk about finding and uh, dealing with those duplicates. And I can just take a quick look and I can I can see already uh, very quickly that there are some duplicates in this data set. So for example, this line is just exactly the same as the line above. Same invoice number, same product ID, same date, same revenue. So we have to be very careful because these might be double counted, but they're very valuable pieces of information in their own right. So it's important to consider them in the wider context of your data collection process and what the data means because you know they might be valid pieces of data that do need to stay there. They also point to weaknesses in your data collection processes. So they might it might point to the very system or points of entry uh, where the duplicates are being caused, in which case you can zoom in and hone in on that and fix that one issue. Okay, so let me show you the very first way to deal with duplicates, a very, a very simple way. And it works well for these little data sets like this, but I wouldn't really re recommend it for larger data sets. Uh, for larger data sets, we'll look at the add-on next, which is a very robust way of doing it. And then in the next lecture, we'll look at finding duplicates using formula methods, which is the way I like to do it. Um, but for now, let me just show you this quick formula. It's called unique, and we give it a range. So I'm going to highlight my whole data set there as my range, close that parentheses, and what it's going to do is just return all of the unique rows within this data set, and it'll throw away the duplicates without even giving me any information about them or how many there were. It'll just throw them away and just return the unique values, the unique rows for me. And there we go. So if I can just make those bold, center them, and then my headings. And if I wanted to keep this, I could just copy, right click, paste special, and paste values only to make sure it's not a formula anymore. And then and then I can do some other operations on it and, and not worry about it I'm getting messed up. It's also, you notice it's changed the, the formatting of these. So if I want to change these back to dates, I can just come up to format number here, just to date, put them back to dates, and then also just highlight these and put these back to the, the dollar signs there just to fix that formatting. Uh, and so that's the unique version of the same data sets. Uh, but like I said, that just throws away the duplicates without giving you much understanding. So let's let's take a look at a slightly more robust way of dealing with them. And that's by using an add-on. So let's go to add-ons menu, get add-ons. Now add-ons are like additional programs that you bolt onto your Google Sheets to bring in additional functionality. So there's lots to explore out there. This is course is not all not about add-ons, but there's lots out there to go and explore. You can see a few of the ones I use. Let's go to get add-ons now. I'm going to search for duplicates. And there's this one called remove duplicates. So let's click this, it's free. And the first thing it does when it comes up is it's going to ask you which account you want to add that to. So I'm going to click my account here and it wants to view and manage spreadsheets and data inside of my Google Drive applications, which is, which is fine. It won't work otherwise. So we'll click allow. And now when I come back to add-ons, I'll have this uh, remove duplicates available to me. So let's close that wizard down. So I can come to add-ons, remove duplicates and find duplicates or uniques. And it'll bring up a, um, a bar here. And it's also selected that, that um, range for me. We don't really want to do that. We want to click this grid here and let me select the actual table I want, which is just that one there. So A3 to D13, let's click OK this time. And let's click Next. And let's highlight, let's find the duplicates uh, and the first occurrences. So that would be the first time it occurs and the duplicate it's going to identify. So that we can identify the pair or three or four groups together. So we'll click Next. There's various other, um, you know, you can just highlight the uniques, which is a bit like what we did over here. But let's click the duplicates and the first occurrence of it. And we'll my table has headers, and I'm going to use all of the columns. Now, this is interesting because I could, if I was working with data where I knew that the invoice number was the unique identifier, and I didn't really care if there was any issues 
or duplicates rather in the other columns maybe they were different because the dates were you know the duplicates had arrived on different dates and therefore had different date stamps but in fact they still were duplicates based on this invoice number I could uncheck some of these maybe and just base my duplicate test on this invoice number but for now let's keep them all clicked because we're going to work on the same assumptions as over here that they're duplicates are right across the whole row so we'll click next and we'll say fill with the color and we'll use the yellow to identify them we'll click finish and say so it said six duplicate or first occurrence values have been found so we'll close and it's going to take a look and you can see it's just highlighted the duplicates for us and the first occurrence so it's it's found this one this one as being duplicate sorry this is the first occurrence this is the duplicate this is the first occurrence this is the duplicate this is the first occurrence and this is the duplicate so so that's pretty nice that's found the pairs now let's just quickly take a look at what it would have been looked like if I remove that color and we had done a slightly different um, test let me just add in another column here and then let's run that again so I'll highlight first this time makes it slightly quicker remove duplicates and find the duplicates or uniques so it's already got the range that I selected let's click next and this time let's do the just the duplicates this time we'll click next click next and we'll say we'll add a status column this time let's see what that looks like and we'll click finish it's working and it found three duplicate values so let's close that and there it's identified the duplicates for me and so I could go ahead and now delete those rows once I've done my investigation so so that's finding duplicates with the add-on that's a really nice way a really robust way of doing it because I keep my data intact initially and it just highlights the data for me versus throwing it away using that unique formula which is a bit too much of a, um, a jump at first as I said I tend to use the formulas that I taught I've learned over the years and we'll be looking at that in the next lecture so thanks for watching folks that's everything about duplicates for now and I'll see you in the next lecture when we'll pick up with the formulas